So I'm 46 years old. I'm getting ready to take a DNA test uh, for the first time in my life because the man whose name is on my birth certificate uh, as my father is now saying he's not my father and that I should go ahead and change my name. Whew. Now, ever since I was two years old, my mom and dad have been divorced. And so I've grown up in divorce. I understand the, the ins and outs. I understand the custody battles. I understand the uh, child support issues and the he said, she said, and all that stuff. It's not a good environment to grow up in. But nonetheless, I'm sharing this with you guys. Um, I, I just want to be transparent about it. because Not because I want you to hate him, because I don't even hate him. Um, and not because I want you to feel sorry for me, because... Man, there's nothing really in my life for you to feel sorry for about. I'm 46, been married 23 years to an amazing woman. That's half my life. Uh, six kids together that are awesome. Um, one grandchild on the way. We pastor a church and we run a business. I'm blessed and I've not needed the blessing of my father uh, to, to, to do all that because I've got the blessing of a greater father uh, than him. I'm sharing this mainly because I feel like that there may be others that may need to be encouraged uh, to have courage to stand up to the past to have courage to stand up to the problems that they've experienced growing up so if you're watching this and you uh, grew up in a divorce or you have been neglected or maybe you have been abused physically mentally emotionally uh, whatever the situation is I want you to understand that you have been victimized and I can say this with 100% confidence because I've been through it uh, I was a victim but there was a point in my life when I said no longer does someone who cares nothing about me get permission to control who I am now and so when I began thinking along those lines, I went from a victim to victorious. And I wish that it happened in a minute or a day, but it took a while for me to retrain my mind to go from victim to victorious. And, um, and I'm so thankful that I have because I don't want to be the victim anymore. Listen, victims aren't free. Victims are, are captivated. And, and so if that's you, I pray for you today that you will get up and make each day that you'll get up and that you will make choices, not letting those things control them. It'll be hard at first. It'll be awkward. But over the course of time, your thinking will completely change and you will move from that victim mentality. Have you been victimized? Absolutely. I'm sure that you have. Was I? Absolutely. I know that I was. But if I remain a victim, that's my choice because I am not a victim any longer. I have been set free from that and I am so thankful that I have and I just pray that through uh, my testimony that you will also find that same freedom and um, uh, and regardless of what the test says regardless of what my DNA says or who whose it says I am it doesn't really change anything for me because I know who I am and I know that my blessings did not come from my earthly father but they come from a greater father in heaven that loves me um, tremendously and that's been there for me even when I didn't realize that he was and so take courage today that you can be victorious so over the next few weeks I'm going to share my results and I hope to share some encouraging things with you things that I've done to overcome hate and bitterness and um, just emotional issues that I've had through the years and even be very transparent about some other things in my life that uh, that I've been able to overcome and I'm so thankful that I have but I think the first step moving forward is realizing that you have been victimized but you don't have to remain the victim that you've got a father in heaven that loves you too much to leave you as a victim and he has given you victory and uh, that we need to walk in that each day so love you guys praying for you can't wait to keep you posted on my results and how um, God has uh, used things in my life to help me overcome.